Hello everyone, welcome back to Modern Creative Channel. Electricity is an indispensable part of modern life today. It appears anytime, anywhere in life from the phone you are holding in your hand, that needs to be charged every day, to the computer you use to work every day, or as simple as the light bulb, you use to light up in the house. Even if you are traveling on the road, chances are the car you are driving, is running on electric power. You see wires and you know that electricity is carried through a network of wires, but have you ever wondered how those wire networks are built, how they can efficiently transmit electricity? In this video, Modern Creative will explore with you the process of contracting a transmission line, one of the most important parts in the power transmission process. After completing the site survey and flag the construction team that will clear surrounding obstacles such as trees, rough soil to have a construction site. Because transmission towers are usually built in remote places, where the terrain is difficult to travel, from the beginning, the access road is also built so that vehicles and construction equipment can move to the construction site. Towers are typically 50 to 100 feet tall and need to be stood on a solid foundation. So the first step in the construction of a transmission tower is to build the foundation and anchor, depending on the type of terrain, soil, rock, depth of foundation and structure, there will be a suitable foundation to support the tower. Foundation excavation is carried out by specialized digging machines and equipment such as mechanical excavators, heavy-duty drills, excavators combined with manual digging. After building a solid foundation to support the tower, the next step is to assemble the towers. Assembling towers is like a huge and complex 3D puzzle game. The tower's loose components are manufactured in advance to the design and then transported to the construction site, where heavy machinery and equipment such as cranes and lifts are used to assist in the installation process. Tower sections are either all-in-one or multi-piece assembled after they are raised. Telescopic or helicopter cranes are used to lift tower sections off the ground and bolt them together for complete assembly. Poles are used to support cables between transmission towers and to maintain cable tension. Installation of the frame and stiffeners will be completed before the poles are installed, and then lifted and set into place.
The conductors, which are the lines that transport the power, are unreal and strung from tower to tower using a cable drum. On one end, there is a reel and tensioner, and at the other there is a puller and take-up reel. The conductors are pulled with a puller machine between each of the towers and poles. The puller and tensioner work in conjunction to ensure the conductor maintains a safe ground clearance so it is not damaged. Multiple wire pulling stations are located along the span of the transmission line. Once the conductor is pulled through the entire length of the line, the tensioner is used to achieve the proper sag. Having the right sag in the line keeps the line from sagging too low as the lines expand and contract with temperature changes.